Let's see about walls in Revit architecture. Like other basic elements in building models, walls are instances of predefined system family types which represent standard wall function, composition, thickness. And we can customize the characteristics of walls by modifying wall type properties to add or remove layers, divide them into regions, and changing their thickness, assigning different materials. And there are three different groups of walls. First one, basic wall. This group contains usual cavity walls, interior partitions. And the second one, curtain wall. This allow you to create walls which can be subdivided both horizontally and vertically into separate panels. And the last one, staked wall. Layers are stacked vertically that can be changed at different heights. So now let's we'll see in software how the different walls will look. On the architecture tab under build panel here we can find the wall option and the shortcut key for wall is WA. So under wall we can find different types. First one wall architecture and the second one wall structural and last one wall by phase. So there is no major difference between the wall architecture and structure. So wall architecture are non-bearing elements. So it won't bear any load. Coming to wall structure, it loads a bear. And wall by phase will be used when we create a mass or a generic model. So to add a wall for a generic model, we'll be using this option called wall by phase. So here I'm selecting wall architectural then once we select wall architectural here we can find the a uh, different options over here and the draw tool also enabled in which shape we want to create a wall either in irregular shape or a rectangular pentagon circle or arc so which shape we want to create that we can pick over here and next one height either we can specify the height or a depth of the wall and next here we can see up to which level either level 1 or level 2 so we can create n number of levels and we can select any level so here we'll see up to level 2 and the location line so from where we want to create either wall center line core center line that we can give and if we want to give offset value here we can mention the offset value also and here in properties palette here we can see different properties of wall here we can see basic wall generic 200 mm if we click on this wall here we can find a different types of walls as we discussed here we can see first group basic wall and the second group here we can see curtain wall and the third one staked wall so on the basic wall also we have different types. So we'll see how it looks. So here I'm selecting one of the wall and picking the start point and end point of the wall. So this is the basic wall. So in the same way, I'm selecting curtain wall once again here. So wall. On the properties palette click on basic wall so if we scroll down we'll find so under curtain wall also we have three different types curtain wall exterior glazing and store print so curtain wall will get a plain glass and exterior glazing where we get a grid lines along and store print will get a mullions along with that so here I'm taking first a curtain wall, simple curtain wall. And next, here I'm taking exterior glazing. So here we can find the difference. Once we switch to the 3D view, there we can find out the difference. So after creating, here I'm switching to 3D view, default 3D view. Here we can see this is a curtain wall 
this is exterior glazing this is store paint so from your control bar i'm setting the detail level to fine and the visual style to realistic so here we can find the difference easily this means we can customize the a curtain wall according to our requirements we can add the grid lines and we can add the mullions and for exterior glazing we'll be getting a grid lens where we can add the mullions wherever we need and the storefront where we will be getting by default the mullions so depending upon the length of the wall it will divide the panels equally and there will be added mullions so this is the difference between the three curtain wall types and the last one we have staked wall so wall from properties palette here stake the wall select and draw start point and end point so in level one also if i set realistic and the data level to find so here itself we can find the difference see how many layers we have in a stacked wall so here coming to basic wall see only one layer we have for basic wall and if we switch to 3d view also so here we can see as we discussed it's tagged vertically so we have two different materials so here it's a brick and here it's a on gray color big brick layer so there are two different layers that means there are two different materials on one layer so this is the three different types of walls a basic wall curtain wall and the stacked wall so after this we'll see how to create a interior and exterior walls and with the predefined height so here i'm switching to another project so here i created a simple plan i just uh, with the help of grid lines here i took a simple plan here i created a room boundaries and placed the columns also now we can create a exterior walls and interior walls by giving the a uh, thickness and the height so here select the wall so for exterior walls so we can use the staked wall so for exterior boundary we can use staked wall select and next base constraint level 1 and the top constraint we need level 2 either we can set over here or from properties palette also we can set top constraint so top constraint a level 2 so here we can see automatically height has been changed to 4000 the height which we are specifying between level 1 and level 2 will be taken if we i take unconnected here we can see 8000 that we can edit it if we take unconnected if we take a level here we can see we can't edit the height the option got enabled so we can take any uh, level or a unconnected according to the requirement so after setting the base and top constraint here from draw tools we can pick the uh, profile so here i'm selecting rectangle then i'm picking the a uh, base point so from this column where we want to create if i pick the midpoint so here we can see the midpoint of the wall from this midpoint of the column if i take end point so here we can see the end point from that end point it's taking and here we can change the location line also if i take finish 
exterior finish face exterior and picking the midpoint so we can find the difference if i take wall center line and the midpoint so this is the a difference so according to the requirement we can select the location line also so now i picked a start point for the rectangle and this will be the end point so now i created the exterior boundary wall now i want to create interior walls so for that i can take so here we can see interior walls we can pick any one of that so here i'm taking interior then from this point to this point so there is an error so once again select the wall yeah so pick a point and this is the end point so here so now one room has been created so in the same way we can create for other room also so picking this end point and this column so again click on escape once again this is the point and this point so here we can see a multiple rooms has been created so if we create one more wall here we can see this will be two different rooms and this will be the a master bedroom so if i switch to 3d view so here i can see how i created the walls so here i can set it to realistic so here we can see a columns and the exterior boundary walls and the interior walls so this is how we create a walls depending upon the a type either it a exterior or a interior walls so we have seen different wall types and we have seen how to create a exterior and interior walls thank you